would be called that than this Budweiser. On the other side of the pits, let's get a word with Milner and Dave Cully. How's the teamwork been between the two of you, getting to know each other, working together? Dave? Well, yeah, this is our second race together, and uh, things are starting to play. We still need to go a little faster, but it's coming along, and we have faith. <laughs> Milner getting used to a Griffin, uh, turbocharged at that. Yeah, it's really fun working with Dave Kelly, though. He's just a super crew chief, and now we have a great amount of respect for him because he's been around so long and knows the insides and out of this whole whole ball game that we're trying to do here. If anybody knows this boat, Dave Cully does. That's for sure. Okay. Good luck in 2B. Thank you. The Oboy Alberto is out in E2B, and it looks like they've got a, a wing support from the Cellular One. Yeah, there it is. Jim Harvey right now is watching the local live broadcast of this race. Jim, I noticed you had, was a Cellular One rear uh, vertical fin on the boat? Yes, uh, we cracked ours in the first seat, and we lost, of course, our spares in the truck fire. So uh, the cellular team was gracious enough to let us carry theirs uh, with us for the rest of the season. This is our last go-around of preliminary heats before we go to the final. And this is something we've seen for five years. The Budweiser and the Miller American. There goes Chip dogging each other, stalking each other before a heat. Whenever they go head-to-head, -head, this always happens. As you see the rundown of the boats, we have only five in this, the final preliminary. And down the back chute they go. Now they fight for position. Miller on the outside and the Budweiser on the inside going down the back chute. And they'll set up now to try to get a good spot. We're well inside. One minute, maybe 30 seconds before the start of the race. As they go inside the butter. And the butt on the inside looks like he ran out of room. It looks to me like somehow Chip Hanauer was able to find a hole and the Budweiser wasn't. The Budweiser's down in the water. It's down in the north turn. The Middle American found an opening somewhere. And here they come for the start of the heat with the Budweiser back in the turn still. There's the gun. The sea got a crab legs in first place. The Budweiser, the engine's still running, however. Tim Ramsey, one of the Budweiser crew members, Feeling maybe they were washed down, maybe not. But Jim Crockfeld still in pretty good shape. He got 400 points in the first heat of the day. If he gets any points at all here in this heat, he will more than likely go on to the final. That's for fairly unavoidable. In the meantime, second place belongs to a boy Alberto. Though. The Miller, wow, a little air underneath it. The new air intake they designed and installed for the Tri-Cities race. Still there here for Seattle. The team worked on this Miller American all week from Sunday night after the Tri-Cities race until uh, late Friday. They worked on that boat and the sponsors of the boat trying to give Chip Hanauer a better ride. This boat's still improving. The Aboy Alberto as the Miller crew watches on from the pits. Big lead already for the Miller. Speed 121.8 for the Miller on lap number one. Aboy Alberto second place in the U80. That's the Sea Galley Crab Legs in third place. But the Miller American, again, going down one of the worst straightaways in the country. Let's face it, when it comes to treacherous waters, it's the back chute here in Seattle. Now it is very famous. The Kenny Toyota with Milner Irvin out of the state of Florida. They are currently in fifth place. As Hanauer and the Miller American come around the north turn. He started his career in Seattle. We've talked about it many times when he drove the small J boats, the, the Limiteds, and of course he graduated up every level to finally into the Unlimiteds and eventually a world champion a couple of times over as a matter of fact. George Woods hoping to do much of the same in the Oboy Alberto as he gets his first ride in the Unlimiteds of 1987. Milner Irvin, a veteran driving what used to be the Budweiser, Jerry Kenny and Frank Kenny, his father, they bought the boat, and it is now the Kenny Toyota Volvo Mazda with a Griffin engine, a turbocharged system. Something totally new in the world of hydroplane racing. The Miller American and Hanauer. Around the turn, the Budweiser's still running more than likely, and we understand now that the Kenny Toyota has clipped a buoy, so he's going to be penalized, and he lost his tail, as a matter of fact. So the Kenny Toyota will fall into fifth place overall here in this heat. The winner, though, is going to be the Miller American coming down the main straightaway for the final time. 400 points going to the Miller. 800 points for the day. The Oboy Alberto, second place with George Woods. And third place holding on for dear life, <laughs> Ron Armstrong in the crab legs. Finally, the Kenny Toyota with no tail. Here you see the Miller American, 800, 600, then 394. The Miss Budweiser, after the penalty lap to the Frank Kenny Toyota, gets fourth place. Now down to the pits. Good. Ain't nothing to say. Nothing to say? Nothing to say. I mean, the obvious is we don't know what happened from here. You know what happened out there? No, no idea. Just sudden water? I don't know. 
Well, okay, but you got some points. At least you went around and got that to qualify. Well, we were in the final no matter what. Okay, we that's... Right. figured out. Okay, Jimmy. First of all, congratulations on the heat. Secondly, did you see what happened with Kropfeld going into that turn? Yeah, he went in in lane one, but there, were already, there was already somebody there, and he had nowhere to go. Valuable points. Yeah, um, we can use them. We haven't had many. As far as the boat now, did you feel like you were trying to set up for the final as much as anything? Yeah, that's all you can do here, but Seattle is so different that even though you set it up in this last heat for the final, the final could be something entirely different. So it's a crapshoot. How's your day going overall? Feel okay? Yeah, I feel okay. You know, um, Jim's got a real nice piece of equipment, and it's been real dominant, so I don't have any false expectations. But we're running okay, and we just take our best shot at it. Over at the Kenny Toyota camp, they are taking off what is left of the rear wing, and they'll race without it. They're our first alternate for the final heats. And you can see there's plenty of damage, but not to the boat necessarily. But the fun meter over at the camp, oh, all the way down to five. We'll be back in a moment.